the Hotel Magdalena created a sense of longing. Like you look at the images and it's absolutely a place you want to be. I, you know, I would have loved to have the opportunity <laughs> to go stay there. You know, there's kind of layers and levels to it. There was so much attention to all of the things that happen while you're staying someplace, you know. One of the things that is more often than not an afterthought or neglected in um, hospitality design um, are things like airflow, are things like energy usage, or you know the idea of like passive heating and cooling. But the fact that that was still incorporated even in a hotel room that you know you could turn things off and just allow natural ventilation to occur was you know amazing and, and impressive and admirable. The Hotel Magdalena had many, many reasons to commend it. it. It's hard to say just one thing. It was a combination of factors from the site planning with the courtyard in the center with the native landscaping, which was really elegant, and the common spaces that are typically needed in a hotel. Many of them are outside. In this project, there's a concern for sustainability that both affords energy savings and makes it very sustainable, but then they parlay those sustainability concerns to make amazing architectural effects.